Goldenrod is, is a great vehicle because it, for 21 years, held the land speed record for a wheel-driven automobile. Uh, Goldenrod is just a, a fantastic looking vehicle. I mean, people love to come and just look at that car because, you know, whereas the 999 is about brute force, there really is some art behind the Goldenrod uh, with that streamlined design, the high fin on the back, and it's a beautiful car. And it looks like it's going 400 miles an hour even when it's standing still. It was built by Bob and Bill Summers, who were just a couple of hot rod enthusiasts. You know, they had high school educations. They weren't professional engineers by any means. They uh, built it under a vegetable stand out at their house in Southern California and uh, took it out to the salt flax and got the thing up to 409 miles an hour, which was unprecedented at that time for, again, a wheel-driven car, which means it's driven by a traditional engine, you know, linked up to the wheels, not a jet-powered car. Uh, jet-powered cars were becoming rather vogue in, uh, in the 1960s at the time they brought out the Goldenrod. They established a record in 65 and it wasn't broken until 1991. They got uh, some help in terms of sponsorship and materials from the Chrysler Corporation. They gave them the four uh, Hemi engines that they could put in the car to power it. And then they got some help from Hearst Shifter as well, not only in terms of money, but in terms of expertise in um, putting together what you can imagine was a pretty complicated drivetrain for that car because you had the four engines, they were paired up, so two of them would face each other in the middle, then there'd be a transfer case running to the drive shaft which runs the full 30-foot length of the car and powers all four wheels. So again, you know, all four wheels on this, this vehicle drive it to achieve that speed. So it was pretty innovative. And of course, they did it all in an extremely thin package, too. You know, it's a very narrow car, very low to the ground. Long, but, but narrow. Yeah, for the Summers Brothers, it was certainly a different thing. You know, in, in the earlier 60s, a few years before they, they had the Golden Rod, they'd experimented with some other streamlined body designs, but they, they'd only used one engine in that. So to go from one to four was uh, kind of a quantum leap for them in terms of their own ex expertise and experience. But it, uh, it made all the difference for them.